Well, let me come first. You want the statement read? Yes, please, sir. All right, let's let the council escape if it wishes. Yes, yes. Will you distribute them? You hand them out, please. We were discussing the war on poverty, and we have discussed nothing else, it seems to me. In fact, I know we haven't. And here's the statement. The City Council met in closed session this morning to discuss matters concerning the war on poverty. In order to make an intelligent decision on this very important problem in the community, it was necessary that the City Council get all of the information that it could concerning the implications that might arise in various actions and decisions. The matters discussed concerned legal alternatives and personnel. No vote was taken, and no member of the City Council was asked to take a stand in this particular session. This will be done publicly when the matter comes up for consideration, and any action by the City Council will be taken as public action with the right granted to the public to be present and express its views. When will the matter come up for consideration? I think there will be something said about it this afternoon, Teal. Uh, I think uh, at that time, any who wish to express opinions are free to do so, if in their judgment this would be helpful. You come out at this time, tell us what that matter is. Well, I, I think I've said everything in here that uh, rounds up what the subject matter was, Warren, and, uh, and the intent of the council to be said until we meet in council. Mm -hmm. So the legal alternative uh, to uh, sponsorship? Mm -hmm. uh, this, this was discussed, yes. We asked to have all the alternatives explained as they uh, pertain to the legality of any alternative. Did you learn anything new in this meeting that you hadn't been told before? I think not. I think it was it was merely a, a sort of a general reaffirmation of information that we had to be sure that we all understood so that we could make better decisions. Was there a general council agreement? There could be no agreement in such a meeting, Warren. This was not a meeting for a decision, only for information. The uh, Commissioner's Court, I understand, reaffirmed the, uh, their stand on the committee report. Uh, is this what you might mean by reaffirmation? Well, I, I think you'll have to wait for this afternoon to see how the Council approaches that problem, Jerry. Was this meeting uh, needed because of the um, uh, recent action by the Executive Committee on the report made by the Joint Committee? Uh, that, that I think, has to be deciphered from this uh, very beautiful piece of literature. <laughs> <laughs> it has a few ungrammatical uh, bits to it still, but it is real literature. Tex, you're getting into politics. Uh, you're one now in a growing number of people who have made their uh, their names and their fortunes in uh, the entertainment field in one fashion or another. Uh, what is there about people who have entertained and who have uh, been uh, well known through that medium that makes them feel they'd make good politicians? Well, I, that's a very difficult question. I don't know if it affects too many people like uh, that. You just hear of the few that have gone into politics. It happened in this state, uh, Louisiana, Jimmy Davis. It's happened in the West Coast, a couple of our friends, California. Uh, I've always had a great interest in politics. I studied political science here in Texas University uh, at one year of law in Austin, and, and later, I think, a year of law. I had a year of law at the Northwestern University in Chicago. 
So I have always been interested in uh, politics and have worked in many campaigns. In the Nixon campaign in 1960 and 68, I was Senator Goldwater. I worked in his campaign in 64. Murphy's campaign on the coast, uh, Senator Baker's campaign. What prompted you to be so long about starting your own campaign? Why didn't you not start sooner? Uh, no one ever asked me before. That's the best <laughs> answer. <laughs> okay. I never gave it any thought. I get the impression from the people you run myself. I never thought much about it. I get the impression from the people you talk about that you must be a bit of a conservative, if I may pin the uh, label tentatively. Uh, I do that only to say that. Uh, one would hardly consider the hippies we have in this country conservatives or cowboys. That's something that, that we quite readily <laughs> notice. You don't see among the, uh, the, uh, the country and western music fans, you don't see people who act like hippies and get out and march in the streets. How come that? Well, so I don't know. So, some, of the, uh, some of the costumes that they're wearing today are things maybe that I wore some 30 <laughs> years ago. Some of the Indian dress. And uh, I, possibly one reason for that is that I think most of the country music artists are from rural America, the small towns and the countryside like I was born on a cotton farm in East Texas. Uh, the hippies, I think if you really look closely at them, uh, what we call the hippie, the Jerry Rubens and the such like, I think you'll find that they're from the larger cities. And uh, it not, may not hold a, a true 100%, but I think you'll find that. Well, of course, uh, we're on edge today because the American League is meeting again tomorrow, and there's still some possibility that they might move the Seattle franchise uh, to Milwaukee. They'd have to move it to Milwaukee now because there's no other place with a stadium ready. We couldn't be ready. So we can't afford to have that lightning strike and uh, are not being prepared. If we lose out tomorrow, it'll be a tragedy. Even if they don't move the franchise, it's a warning that we have to be ready, and so we're eagerly anxious to develop this financing program and to move forward with our uh, construction. Our program is based on the concept that it takes four ingredients to make a successful business. First, there has to be an individual who is, has a degree of qualifications. Secondly, he has to have a realistic opportunity, and we're providing many of these opportunities to franchise companies and so forth. Thirdly, he has to have an adequate amount of money not only to open his doors, but to carry him through the period in which the business is building up to a profit. And fourthly, he has to have management assistance, again, uh, for a considerable period of time after he opens up his doors. Our program is designed to present all four of these ingredients to the local community so that they can be put together here to create the opportunities and the resources that are necessary for successful business enterprises owned by minority people. By minority people, of course, we mean the blacks, the Mexican-Americans, the American Indians, and in other communities, the Puerto Ricans, the Cuban-Americans, and the Eskimo. There's no great urge among the country musicians to have a message in their songs. 
but you do find more of the country musicians singing about what a great land of America is. Uh, they, we don't sing, or uh, we shall overcome, or all of the, the the folk group, what we call the city folk. Mm -hmm. They have the message songs, and they're usually message to overthrow America. Many years ago, during the years that I spent in New York as a young man, the Communist Party as such as it existed in those days, in the middle 30s and early 30s, they tried to take over the folk singer. It may go back to a statement of George M. Cohan or someone, I don't think it's Cohan, said, let me control the songs of a nation, eventually he will control the nation. But more of the work songs. I hobnob with them. I would sing for them, and it's half the hat for some kind of project. I knew them all. But what saved me is that I had studied political science. I knew where I stood. I was not a communist. I was a Democrat. Of course, later I saw the light and became a Republican. <laughs> There was a call to my home on Sunday uh, indicating that we might have a uh, possible uh, intervention from the outside by outside groups at North Dallas High School. And uh, did this more or less uh, prompt a meeting today between yourself and the superintendent? Yes. Uh, immediately after the call, I called the superintendent, and uh, this uh, prompted the activities uh, at North Dallas High School for today. Right. Tell us a little bit about the meeting today. The superintendent seemed well pleased with the uh, the way the students have responded and the overall response in the situation. Well, we all seem very pleased. The, the students uh, uh, seem to be very calm in their classes and uh, class work proceeded as just about as well as any Monday. However, the noticeable factor was that we had approximately 34.5% student absent. Actually, I really actually believe that he was dead because I don't see how he could kind of survive it. But uh, I reached my hand in, my right hand in, as I reached my right hand in the car and laid it on him. Why, uh, in the left minute, my one gun was in my left hand. So uh, as I put my hand on him, he was playing possum and he had his right hand laying down alongside of him. And he raised it up and he had a 38 and he shot me. And the, the bullet uh, hit me just above the heart and ranged up and tore my good suit of clothes, but didn't, uh, it, it scared the hell out of me. And of course I naturally, uh, in self-defense, I uh, emptied my left pistol into him. And that was the end of the story. But that was a pretty narrow escape. And had I not been stooped over, why he would have killed me.
The city of Arlington continues to have its problems in the exercising of the option to buy the Turnpike Stadium from Tarrant County. Today, Mayor Tommy Vandegrift appeared before the Tarrant County Commissioner's Court and asked for a second 90-day extension in the exercise of that option. Mayor Vandegrift explains why. We haven't lost any enthusiasm for the project. Uh, we're very hopeful and optimistic that it can still be achieved. But frankly, the complexity of gaining both tax-exempt status for the bonds, the revenue bonds, and then a market for the revenue bonds uh, is much more difficult than we had first anticipated. We simply need a bit more additional time, and the court was kind enough to grant us that time today. I feel confident that within this 90-day period, we can achieve the necessary financing and proceed with the Sea Life Park and uh, the stadium expansion. Bond attorney Ray Hutchinson says that the proposed ruling from the Internal Revenue Service could come within a matter of weeks, perhaps as few as a couple of weeks. In this case, the construction could begin immediately after the sale of the bonds, and he says this should be no problem. From Fort Worth, this is Art Sinclair reporting for Channel 8 News. I didn't think it was necessary. I still believe it's pressure. It's, it's, uh, uh, you just don't have to do that to these people. They're going to meet on Thursday evening, the executive committee, and what we are saying to them, in effect, is if you don't buy what the county said and what we are saying, then you've got no program, and this is wrong. They ought to at least be able to have their meeting and, and to deliberate uh, this committee's report without any pressures from the sponsors. What about the charge by Councilman Jesse Price that, in essence, the actions of the executive committee of the DCCAC were pressure to the sponsors? Well, that's a joke. How are you going to pressure the sponsors? I think we have uh, already said we would be co-sponsors of this program, and I think we meant just that. Even if they have recommendations different from the report? Well, we may have any number of decisions to make, but I think they're speculative at this point. I, I don't think there's any intent to, uh, on the part of the city to uh, abandon the poverty program. Is there any intent on the part of the city to pressure the poverty program into a certain specific form? No, I think not. I think, uh, I think these people are able to make up their own minds and say what their position is, and so are we. And uh, I think we now have to await what they say.